Assalamu alaikum. Yes, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Let's Join Pharmacy. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, today we are going to start our first subject that is medicinal chemistry one of your fourth semester B pharmacy. Here we will discuss a very very important topics in our unit one and it is the part one, my dear brothers and sisters. Okay, later we will discuss about the part two and part three. Okay, and here we will discuss very important concepts and also. Inshallah, I will try my best to clear your concept. Inshallah, I will try my best. So please, please, if you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel, Legend Pharmacy, and share this video with your friends. Sir. And don't worry about the notes. You will get the notes in the description. Here, first, see, in the unit 1, we will discuss about the introduction to medicinal chemistry, history and development of medicinal chemistry. These are not uh, that much important, but from here, like a physio physico chemical properties in relationship biological action very important these all are ionization we will study solubility partition coefficient hydrogen bonding protein binding chelation then bio bio isoterism optical and geometrical isomerism don't worry you will get a clear information about these uh, important topics clear no worry here yes first let's uh, go through the question paper here see it's not only RGHS University, any university, if you are belong to any university, any university I am discussing, any university, but the main thing is Pharmacy Council of India, it should link with the PCI, see, very important question, see here, which one, first, see, explain the role of solubility and protein binding, this question will become here, solubility and protein binding, okay, 5 marks, fixed question in our examination, every same they will ask in every year the, the question will be repeated and what is phase one metabolism explain the reductive and hydrolytic metabolism with example see phase one here drug uh, metabolism principle phase one and phase two okay then uh, um, see explain the role of hydrogen bonding and protein binding here hydrogen bonding and protein bonding sometimes they will they have asked partition coefficient optical and geometrical isomerism they have asked so my request to you all is just you want to subscribe my channel turn on the bell icon so that you will get notified from me my from my side you will get notified so that you can't miss a single video it's a very very important information initially i want to share with you now let's discuss with the concept first here we will discuss about introduction to medicinal chemistry see just a basic if you remember what is medicinal chemistry medicinal chemistry it is a branch of science here we will deal with the structure of the drug okay and therapeutic effects of the drug some of the chemical nature of the drug this is the medicinal chemistry simple okay now medicinal chemistry the history of this medicinal chemistry is uh, this medicinal chemistry is uh, from a uh, 1600 BC only from the 1600 1500 only this medicinal chemistry has been developed clear and this medicinal chemistry take a revenge it's uh, uh, updated from the Ottoman empires hmm. Ottoman empires this is the simple about the medicinal chemistry introduction and the history now very important properties that is physical chemical properties in relationship to biological action that is the main concept of our medicinal chemistry yes here let's discuss about those ionization solubility partition coefficient hydrogen bonding protein binding chelation iso bio isoterism optical and geometrical isomerism here we will discuss about ionization solubility and partition coefficient let's discuss about the first one that is ionization see very simple what do you mean by ionization ionization means just breaking of the compound now see this is the sodium chloride now by passing through the energy any energy if passed through this sodium chloride means what happens these sodium chloride they will acquire the energy and they start into breakdown means sodium plus cl minus this process is known as ionization simple and this ionization is very important concept where in the drug metabolism or to show the activity therapeutic effect of the drug it is the process by which an atom or the molecule acquires a negative or positive charge by gaining or losing electrons offer in conjunction with other chemical changes simple this only the sodium chloride will acquires the energy and or it uh, donates the charge by gaining or losing electrons hmm. then to maintain good solubility and absorption of the drug it is essential to maintain a balance of ionized and non-ionized non -ionized form of the drug 
see solubility and absorption is one of the good aspects of your drug if greater the solubility means the therapeutic effect of the drug is more okay then see it is essential why to maintain ionized and non ionized forms of the drug see these all are the theory subject history one first unit you will study deeply in the history only in the theory only okay so little bit it may be boring but going uh, forward it clears your all the concept and very interesting very very joyful subject is medicinal chemistry because ionized form have good water solubility hence good binding capacity with its receptor see here two types one is ionized another one is non ionized ionized type of the drug they are good having qualities where with the water now see this is sodium chloride if you dissolve sodium chloride in water means what happens they get clearly dissolved they form a solution there why because a good relationship with the water which one ionized form non ionized form they having the good relationship with the lipid content like uh, our cell wall our stomach wall okay mostly our cell wall stomach wall they are uh, composed of the lipid content so non ionized help to drug to cross the cell membrane most of the drug are either weak acid or weak base so their absorption from the gastrointestinal tract take place in unionized form the unionized form is a function of the both dissociation constant and the environmental and ph of the environment it is represented by the henderson hasselbach equation pka it is for acid plus log 10 ionized form uh by salt do you hold your by anionized form by acid now for a base ph is equal to pkb means for base a log 10 ionized form by salt hold your by anionized form divided by base see pk what it is a parameter which indicates strength of the drug in terms of the acid base reaction and the drug having pk range 2.4 are readily absorbed by the stomach because they remain largely unionized in acidic medium of the stomach see those drug they are having 2 to 4 pk value they get readily absorbed on the stomach because you know that the ph of the stomach is acidic in nature 1 1.5 or 2 to 3 so they are largely unionized in acidic medium of the stomach those drug which are unionized in nature and having the acidic character they will absorb in the stomach Now for an example see you just you don't go through the diagram see now this is the stomach okay now see from this stomach what happens when you uh, intake any medicine now that medicine is unionized form having the ph up to 4 okay 2 to 4 now what happen that medicine that medicine or that drug what you have intake no that drug get ionized means that drug shows its therapeutic effect shows its property where in the stomach only why because of the 2 to 4 pk value okay no need for further involvement here only it will shows its effect physical property because of acidic medium of the stomach stomach acidic in nature hmm next the weak or the weak acid drugs are mostly absorbed in gastrointestinal tract due to the presence of the microvilli and large surface area at compared to the stomach the basic drug pka means the basic uh, drug value is 9 to 10 will be absorbed in the intestinal tract which having the ph 8 you know that above 7 it is the base and below 7 it is the acidic and around 7 means exact 7 it is the neutral and you remember one thing always the drug may be either weak base or the weak acid Hmm. Next, our concept is the solubility. You are very familiar with the solubility. You studied solubility where in your physical pharmaceutics one in your fourth semester, third semester. Here, the phenomenon of dissolution of solute in a solvent to give a homogeneous mixture. Simple. You take the sugar, you add in the water, just you dissolve, you will get the solvent solution. Solute, sugar dissolved in water, it forms the solution. It is the solubility. It is very important parameters to achieve desired concentration of the drug in the systemic circulation. Yes, solubility is very important here. If you want good therapeutic use, good therapeutic application means then solubility play a vital role. Solubility of drug in polar solvents and non-polar solvents depends upon various factors such as chemical, particle size, and crystal form. Yes, the if you want greater solubility means you should have the accurate chemical structure and good particle size. You have to have the crystal form also. 
क्रिस्टल फॉर्म ऑल्सो डिपेंडेंट वेयर ऑन द सोलिबिलिटी नेचर पोलर एंड नॉन आयोनिक कंपाउंड्स फॉर्म हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स विथ वाटर वेयर एज नॉन पोलर कंपाउंड्स फॉर्म हाइड्रोफोबिक बॉन्ड्स विथ लिपिड्स एंड गेट डिस्पर्स वेरी सिंपल दोज ड्रग्स विच आर सोल सोल पोलर दे विल फॉर्म द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स विथ वाटर एंड दोज आर नॉन पोलर मीन्स नॉन आयोनिक कंपाउंड दे विल फॉर्म hydrophobic bonds with lipids and they will get dispersed they will show their therapeutic effect then see generally lipid soluble drugs possesses high biological activity than water soluble drugs why lipid soluble liquid soluble drugs possesses high biological activity then it is not liquid lipid soluble drugs possess high biological activity than water soluble drugs why this lipid why lipid means see because our body inside part most of the parts are made up of from the lipids see our cell wall now to burst the cell wall okay to cross that cell wall now this is the cell wall for an example this is the cell wall cell wall mainly made up of from the lipid and many other constituents but major concentrated uh, concern constituent or concentration of the cell uh, wall is oil here oil it is a lipid so if the solubility of that uh, drug drug solubility if it is good where in the lipid area means what happens it can easily pass through the cell membrane and show its therapeutic effect if the solubility is not greater where in the lipid means yes of course it won't show its uh, greater therapeutic effect because of the poor solubility so this is the effect of a solubility in terms of the drug see one of the parameters which reflects the relationship between the solubility in polar and non polar is partition coefficient in next uh, we will discuss about the partition coefficient what is this uh, and uh, everything see the solubility of the drug can be changed by the simple derivation simply if we uh, want to increase the solubility means we can change their solubility or we can increase the solubility for an example phenobarbital it is insoluble in water okay if we convert that phenobarbital into phenobarbital sodium it is freely soluble in water phenobarbital we are using for the uh, means central nervous system disorder now directly if we dissolve phenobarbital it is insoluble in water if we add phenobarbital to sodium means it forms phenobarbital sodium which is freely soluble in water yeah next our concept is a partition coefficient it is the last concept of our video so don't quit this video watch the video until last very important concept this one partition coefficient see this is also uh, this concept is also very familiar for you where in the third semester of your physical pharmaceutics don't worry if you are uh, not understand there means here you will clear your doubt see it is an important property which affect the biological action of the drug molecule very important property here which one this one which one partition coefficient very important property in the biological action of the drug it is defined as ratio of concentration of drug molecule in lipid phase and the water phase simple very simple see what happens sir now see this is the uh, one surface now to one brown bottom flask you have to add both one is aqueous another one is Uh, lipid content of the solution now in between this you have to place the drug simple it is the ratio of the drug between the liquid contents and the aqueous contents this is the partition coefficient see partition coefficient p is equal to concentration of drug in lipid phase divided by concentration of drug in water phase here only we are knowing the concentration of the particular drug okay where it having greater partition coefficient either in uh, lipid phase or either in the water phase okay to define the concentration or the good solubility of the drug we are using this uh, partition coefficient uh, for easy information you just understand partition coefficient is the property of the drug clear the partition coefficient determines the transport and diffusion of the drug okay how good transport is there everything it will uh, determines which one this partition coefficient the diffusion of drug across the membrane depends upon its solubility in the lipid that is a partition coefficient of the drug yes actually i have told you the whole body is made up of, of the lipid content maximum okay maximum inside the body the cell wall cell membrane or the metabolism all are most probably made up of from the lipid content or the oil content so here your drug should have greater concentration where or greater solubility in the lipid nature only higher the value of partition coefficient higher will be the diffusion of the drug across the membrane along with the solubility drug must have the high partition coefficient 
next you will uh, see through the graph here see this one is the graph see what happens a partition coefficient this one is biological activity of the drug if your partition coefficient of the drug is greater means actually the biological activity of the drug to increases but for the certain extent after that what happens just it is suddenly decreases or decline which one partition uh, coefficient or biological activity of the drug suddenly it get declines this is the very short and sweet information about the uh, solubility ionization and partition coefficient see here for an example now we have taken one drug parastamol parastamol generally it given to treat the fever now parastamol when it uh, absorb from the intestine intestine to the circulatory system to the circulatory system where uh, to the site of action okay site of action means where you are observing the pain means uh, there it goes and shows its effects for an example you are having pain in your legs okay in your legs so these parastamol will reduce the pain where in your legs where in your legs now see this pain reducing agents or pain uh, decreasing uh, parastamol suddenly what it will do it will increase its biological activity but after some extent after time what happens it will falls down it will falls down now you are giving 650 mg of the parastamol means uh, it will not affect 5 days or 10 days only single tablet yes actually it shows its uh, biological activity uh, for uh, 4 hours or 6 hours or 7 hours after 7 hours what happens it decreases the activity of the drug get decreases biological activity get decreases so the doctors always prescribing parastamol thrice a day morning one afternoon one and evening one or night one after food so that it can show the greater biological activity for your body your body get recovers as soon as possible yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the very very important information about the first part of your medicinal chemistry next we will discuss about the very important concept very very important protein binding and hydrogen bonding chiliation okay thank you assalamu alaikum